Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Amelie is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Amelie? Thank you. I'm Amelie, reporting live from Lampton Key. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet, unless we give them what they want. The risk and of harm the risk of harm to the public is very real and... Are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclu exclusive, an alien is taking one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Virage. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense here. All we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell really awful, like a mixture of poo and poo. It looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through a special translation device. People of Earth, we're the superior human beings of the planet Skivity from the galaxy of Sigma. We, need, we want these three things from you in no particular order. First, we want you to all kill yourselves. Then we want you, Mr. President. Lastly, we want a Happy Meal. If you do not give us these three things, we will all destroy you with your... Uh, Skibbity beam. You have, you have three days. That is all. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end to the human race? Make your voice heard on X using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to our parliamentary reporter, Gemma. Thanks, Sana and Layla. Crowds have gathered here, but many are, are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up! Be afraid! Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tenekoto to all people in New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding up Orphity later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile, and then quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts at ho to discuss what you can do to get through this at home during this event. Can you hear me? What should we all do? Well, I believe that we should lock away our glorious, visible, beautiful pop idols, Nikki Monologue and Avina Grenade. Who are those? You That's don't know our idols? That's the dumbest idea. That's just stupid. Obviously, that is completely stupid because what we should do is put poison apples and potatoes into ice creams and hand them to the aliens so they will all die. That is stupid. Obviously, we should sacrifice half the population and give them to the aliens so their tummies will be full. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's just stupid. That's one of the what worst ideas I've ever heard. I hate you. Wait, you two, cut it out. <laughs> Die! Well, so much for opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at some of the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Anna. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antennae for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become a alien transit lodge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. In Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached at all costs. Well, I'm going to go hide in my basement. Back to you, Sana and Layla. 
Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy because I'm scared. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick or until the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha. We'll see you all tomorrow if there is one. Wait, what's that sound? Hide. Ah!